Hey everybody, it's me Josh with Hope and I'm bringing you a pretty wild video tonight with a lot of evidence. I'm going to show you a number of different clips. Um, before we get started, please, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Like the video and if you haven't already checked out my book, Finding Hope in the Afterlife or even my new app that's coming out, the HSB1, all of that information is available on HopeParanormal.com. You can sign up for updates. Here's the link right now. This video that I'm showing you with a number of different clips has so much evidence of the afterlife. It's showing proof that our souls can be discontent on the other side still if we don't work out the things here in this life. Um, that we can still find the light and kind of work through that. That there is heaven, that there is Jesus. That our loved ones can understand what's going on with us here with current things that are happening. There's amazing responses about spirits coming from spaceships. I also ask about Chester Bennington and some wild, mind-blowing stuff from Tupac. I know it sounds crazy, but this first clip that I'm gonna show you, first set of clips, I reach out to a girl named Madison for a woman named Leanne, it's her daughter. And I did a private session back in February. Here in these set of clips, you can see the progression from this girl not feeling that great on the other side to just the responses that came through, the validation that came through in this past April's group session. Let's check it out. But Madison, can you use this? Can you say anything right now? Trying to talk. Yeah, it's almost like, you know, I mean, this isn't taking a psychic, but she's kind of feeling like she's telling me this or just letting me know if, um, you know, I know that the session we did, it helped her, it almost like helped her with her connection. It made her feel a little bit more at ease. It made her feel a little bit less anxiety. Is that true, Madison? Is that what I'm getting? Just seeing the message from Leanne that these responses and what they mean to her, what they've done to her, they've helped her. Not only have they helped her, but they've also helped Madison. It's just so powerful. And this work continues to change lives. Now I'm gonna ask for a woman named Deborah. Her granddaughter, Maya, um, passed away, very young age. In this past, this last month's group session, I asked for her and you hear confirmation uh, to the questions that we're asking. Not only she talks of being in heaven, the guides mention that she's in heaven, that Jesus is around her all the time. Deb is asking for Maya. Maya, last time you came through, you said, Grandma, I love you and, and I'm, I'm all right. So you really spoke last time, Maya, and I, uh, that really is so awesome. Hi, Maya. It's Grandma Deborah. I miss you so much and I love you so much. Maya, are you around your dad? <laughs> your grandma loves and misses you. She says, have you seen great grandma Martin? Have you seen great grandma Martin, Maya? That sounded like a yes. Go ahead and ask your next question, uh, Deb. Maya, have you seen Jesus? Maya, she wants to know, did you see Jesus? Can you tell us that? I mean, those are direct responses confirming heaven, confirming Jesus, that she's okay. And it's coming through month after month. This next set of clips, you can hear 
what sounds like this person, Brandon, coming through and discussing about where maybe his murderer is, the house, and describing some details. Let's listen. Okay, how about now, Brandon? Is there anything that you want to say to your mother about your death or about your case getting solved? Anything? The people that your mom suspect uh, who caused your death, um, do you have any information on that? Well, your mom wanted me to tell you and your sister and your father wanted me all to tell you that they love you and they miss you and they're never going to stop fighting for justice for you, hon. I think it's pretty amazing that some of those details came through and I hope to do more with some unsolved cases in the future. I think I could be of use in some of these cases. Um, this next set of clips, uh, these are special clips because again, I've connected with this person, Austin, on the other side in a very special way. Uh, this guy who committed suicide, young kid, just seems like he's got an amazing energy and he really can come through. You can hear him using his own voice. Even though all of these clips I'm showing you, all of them I'm using the HSB one that only uses mangled gibberish as audio. There will be no chances for false positives. I've been doing this for years now and it's amazing. And so you can hear him use his own voice somehow. Austin, you have come through so many times and I, um, I just, you know, Angela wants to know, did you see that she got a puppy? Did you see that she got a puppy? That sounds like you. This is the pool right here. This is really nice. This is where we kick back and relax. Go ahead and, uh, um, again, uh, if you can, Austin, did you see that mom got a puppy? She, she feels you. She thinks that the dog feels you. Are you trying to interact with the puppy in any way? Okay. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate you coming through. Is there anything that you want to say to your mom directly or anything separate than what she's asking? Is there anything you want to ask? That sounds like you, dude. Yeah, I'm thankful for the family I have. And just to say that I have a family is wonderful. That sounds like you. I know your voice. I've listened to it quite a bit already. I have a feeling that Austin will continue to come through, that he enjoys it and his mother really enjoys hearing his voice and knowing that her son is, is still around and seeing what's going on. This next set of clips, um, I'm asking for a girl named Natalie, her brother, Renee Torres. Now, Renee has come through quite a bit, very strong, kind of like Austin, and he was positive um, somewhat in the beginning, but there was uh, a tone that he started to have. Maybe he started to feel a little negative. He was feeling uh, disconnected, uh, didn't feel the light. And I did a meditation recently with my patrons where I envisioned all the loved ones coming in, but I envisioned I saw him. I saw Jesus come in and talk to him. The responses I get in this April's group session are just astounding, and they warm my heart. They, they truly reinforce why I do what I do. Renee, I miss you and I love you. I just want to know if you visit me before. Uh, Natalie is looking for Renee. 
Renee, can you come through? She wants to know, how are you on the other side, Renee? My good friend Renee, you've come through before. How are you on the other side? Horrible. I hear horrible right away. Uh, it was weird. I hope I was wrong with hearing that. Maybe you can correct me if I was wrong. How are you on the other side? Okay. How about again? Renee, how are you? How are you on the other side? Renee, you were having a hard time. I've had you on my spirit board. You know, you said you don't feel Christ in your heart. And I, I, that, that really bothers me. I want to help you. Of course, there's a lot of help that needs to be given, but I want to pray for you and I want to maybe ask for you a separate time. But if you need help, I want to pray with you or I want to help you. And I felt you today in the meditation, I saw Jesus talking to you or I saw some kind of interaction. Renee Torres, are you here? How are you doing now? I know it's been about a month or so since that happened. How are you doing now? Okay, I might ask for you again. I just want you to know that I'm thinking about you and I care about you and I don't want you to feel lost in any way, okay? feel just as a strong connection to the loved ones on the other side as I do to the patrons. It's like I've really truly gotten to know their loved ones on the other side and it's really a blessing. It really is. Um, this next clip is just very short but um, this woman Shannon wanted to ask if she should do anything in volunteering um, against child trafficking. You can hear the response come through the box about uh, what she should do. So this is for Shannon Sipilovic's, um guides. She wants to know, should she volunteer to help with anything regarding uh, child trafficking? Now this is a little crazy. I find it interesting, these next set of responses that come through. I'm asking for a guy, uh, Paul, his daughter, I'm asking for uh, his daughter, Gabby and uh, we had a powerful session with her as well. But in these set of responses, uh, they talk about spirits coming from spaceships and that they could take us up and that maybe we should all leave. Okay, Gabby, giving you another, I'm gonna give you a few opportunities here. Um, can you use this? Uh, he wants to know how he can commune with you. And of course I can give him some suggestions and try to help him with that, but is there anything on your end that you'd like to tell him? Is there anything else that you want to say to your dad? next set of clips I'm going to show you I'm asking about Chester Bennington and then I ask about Tupac. Uh, when I did Chester's session he responded he was very attentive to what I was asking and I heard a response that he'd be helping this group. I don't know what that meant but check out these responses that I get. Chester Bennington when I did his session, um, and it was really powerful, he spoke on every single question I asked him, and at some point they said he'll be helping with the group. Now, I don't know if that was about Chester or what, but I just want to ask about that. Chester, I'm inviting you to come forward if you're willing to talk. I want to give you an opportunity to speak. Hopefully. <laughs> Is there anything regarding Chester Bennington that needs to be said? Hold on. 
How about now? Anything regarding Chester Bennington? I, I, if he's helping in any way, I appreciate it. Um, just grateful for the connection. Now, I've worked with Tupac before. I've intuitively connected with him years ago. I've asked him to help out at times, and I've heard many responses that would lead me to believe that somehow that happened. I know that sounds crazy, but recently I heard responses about that he was showing up in a group session, also that in a private session that he was being trained. I didn't know if that was really right, but I asked about him in this past April's group session, and you hear a response that he's here. Then I use the DR60. Wait till you hear what's on that. This is for Tupac. I just want to ask and give a chance for Tupac to come through. I heard him in the last group session briefly. I also heard him again, or something else was mentioned again. Uh, his name. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you two questions. Is there anything that you want to say to me um, without a specific question. Is there anything on your own that you want to say? Well, there you have it. Just amazing, amazing evidence, all from one session too. I mean, so much that we can deduct from this. Not to mention all these amazing orbs that are flying around, whizzing in and out of me, around me. Look at this one, that one that flies by the recorder and then dips right when it hits my head, or near my head. Amazing stuff. If you haven't already liked the video, guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, Check out my website, HopeParanormal.com, for the book, Finding Hope in the Afterlife, the HSB1 app, when it will come out. You can get updates and live events coming, all kinds of cool things, guys. I love you so much, and uh, I'm going to get back to work. Thank you so much. Until next time.